Hello guys, in this video we'll discuss Cloudflare workers using Rust. In the recent videos we have been tapping different cloud providers to run our Rust application. When running Rust serverless we have discussed about AWS Lambda, Vercel and today's video will cover Cloudflare workers. If you haven't checked out that AWS Lambda and Vercel video it should be popping somewhere on right top. Pretty interesting, make sure to click it, watch it. So Cloudflare workers is a serverless platform that allows us as developers to run JavaScript, TypeScript, WebAssembly code at the edge closer to our users for obviously low latency, scalable application, and it simplifies you know deploying and managing your uh, code by not worrying too much about uh, the traditional server infrastructure and all those uh, you know complex jargons of managing your own instances, and you don't have to you know have a long running process in your code. Now, since we have been covering uh, Rust on serverless in few videos previously as well, so I believe you guys already know what we are talking here today. So without further ado, let's dive into it and let's begin. And as we start, there is a link to my Discord in description, so make sure you join it. Now, first of all, to compile our Rust code as WebAssembly, we have to set up the target. So Rust up target at WebAssembly32 unknown unknown just run this command and as you can see for me it's already up to date now next is we need cargo generate so cargo install cargo generate and cargo generate we need for the folder structure of cloud player so cargo generate okay for me again it's already there but you guys can just run this command cargo install cargo generate to quickly add cargo generate in your tool chain now we need a wrangler project so just do cargo generate cloud player workers rs and here we have to select a template axiom hello world hello world http or laptops axiom you can control the routes as well so for now we'll just go ahead with a hello world and the name of the project so let's say test demo project and once it's generated we'll just go ahead and use our project so we have a pretty straightforward project structure a cargo terminal with all the necessary dependencies and settings that we need librs which we'll cover in a minute and a wrangler terminal for the build command and stuff now let's move to librs and here you can see we have an event fetch let's get an overview of how powerful the cloudflare workers are let's start with the event macro the event macro allows us to define the entry points to our workers. When we say fetch, that this would be invoked by an incoming HTTP request. Just like you know, we deploy our uh, Vercel functions or Lambda functions, we get a URL and we can hit it. Similarly, here we have fetch, so this code would be invoked by an HTTP request. Similarly, we have scheduled, which basically tells this part of the code would be invoked by a cron job similarly we have other options as well like start and different options that you can try out but for now we'll stick with fetch so that's about the event uh, macro and then we have a request environment and context and then we have our request which is just like any other http request uh, you know we can access all this stuff like uh, URL, query, headers, method, so and then text, JSON, so everything that we want we can access. Similarly, we have uh, environment, and using our environment we can access you know our secrets, we can access R2 variable and all, all other stuff. Similarly, we have context, and using context we can access you know. Uh, similar things like you know increase the lifetime of our uh, worker pass through an exception so this is a bit uh, you know advanced which we'll cover in different videos uh, which we will be using uh, it uh, as part of our backend application so for now for today what we can do is we can just return a basic response so hello world this is this is my first cloud player 
uh, worker that's pretty much all that we'll make today now let's try to serve this locally before we go ahead and deploy using our cli now to serve on local we can simply use npx and wrangler dev so uh, make sure you have you know a uh, node installed on your machine and we'll not install wrangler we'll just use npx to directly do it for us and run it so yes And once you have built it ready, you can see there is a URL where we can test. So 8787. And if we hit this URL on our local, as you can see, hello world, this is my first Cloudflare worker. Now let's go ahead and deploy the same uh, on Cloudflare and, you know, access it. We'll also check the monitoring and everything. And as you can see, we hit uh, our URL and we get 200 response. You can see all the logs here now as you can see to exit face x and we have successfully exit now let's deploy and now in our terminal we'll again do just npx wrangler deploy and once it's deployed but make sure you are logging into the cli i'm already logged in you just have to uh, log in you can just use this command npx wrangler login but since i'm already logged in so I, I am able to successfully deploy we get the url so let's hit it and there you go once i hit this in my browser i get my response hello world this is my first cloudflare worker just go to your cloudflare dashboard there you can see your application is deployed go to test demo and uh, which is the something that we just deployed and you can check the metric cpu uh, everything basically for your application for free you can you know uh, get everything here uh, to check your application so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys learned something new if you do like the video share with your friends i'll catch you guys in the next video with another interesting topic until then bye bye